Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, I've had this chair for months and I've only just worked out that this cushion could be moved up and down so I can sit forward or back. Certainly comfy, this chair. Yeah, anyway, I didn't come here to talk about my chair. I came here to talk about Twin Flames and the title of this video is Wake Up, Beloved Child of the Divine and Have Breakfast with Your Twin Flame. Put this cushion down again. Oh, that's better. <laughs> no matter how powerful the divine is, it doesn't mean that the divine is not flexible. God won't continue to grind it out. God is gentle. He never forces or exhausts you. The work of the day is purifying your consciousness, clearing blocks. It's a spiritual workout. Take the time to warm, warm up. Don't wear yourself up. If it looks like... God isn't turning very much in your life. You know that's not true. Even with a persistent problem, God can turn easily. Never put yourself in a position where you can't do your life's work. Keep yeah, so keep working on your life's purpose because a lot of people get ill and die soon after they retire because they look they lose their purpose. Yeah, you want you want to have loads of purpose like the Queen or Jimmy Carter, David Attenborough. Loads of purpose, and they're going on and on and on. Bless them. Your purpose is more than just a job. With just a job, you'll be miserable. Live in heaven on the earth in a different way, which is not miserable or numb or separate from the divine. Put down the reality that everyone pretends to be in. Put down the dialogue that's, that's squawking, that perpetuates the false reality. Does God wake you up by throwing you in a cold bath? No, he whispers, wake up my beloved child and gently opens the curtains. Have I been asleep, you say? I can't remember the dream, never mind. Care for some breakfast, God says. Who is that, you ask? God says, oh, that's your twin flame. Would you like to have breakfast with them? Hurrah! <laughs> Maybe you would have you wake up with a cold bath, but God's gentler by singing a gentle song, addressing your consciousness as you release the dream and awaken you into eternity. The nightmare was just the terrible story you've been telling for so long and you're starting to catch up with a good story. We're still so attached to the nightmare and the way the characters show up like NPCs, not divine beings, to get in the way of connection and love. Ego uses guilt to keep you in the story. Where your consciousness gets pulled back in. There's no peace, no prosperity, no creativity, no divinity. That's an ego story for you. But I got a different story for you. You're eternal, you're divine, you're perfect, you're loving, you're lovable, you have infinite creative expression flowing through you. Meet people where they live. The fluffy surface versus the depths of the ocean. Serve the divine in the appropriate way. If someone's thirsty, you don't drop a water tower on them. Yeah, guilty. I used to do that an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, and then you ask them next week if they're thirsty and they say no. You're passionate seekers of the divine. You're deep within that ocean. Most are not. The cultural norm is about having an exterior that looks perfect. So when that comes tumbling down, when the facade falls away, what's beneath shouldn't stay the same. Create perfection on the inside which emanates towards, which emanates outwards naturally. Creating outer perfection and ignoring the inner because it doesn't exist or matter. You're right, poverty is on the inside. Inner misery made manifest. Acknowledge the inside, the inner beauty that emanates from within and shines out. We agreed to live here in this shared reality but the darkness is in the neighbourhood, not at home. Would you prefer the inner to be contaminated or the outer? The outer doesn't exist. Single-mindedly focus on the inner, the divine reality for eternity. You can both exit the illusion and stay on earth. Excuse me. You never need to invite more misery, only inner joy. The mechanic of how to bring your twin flame closer... Attain a state of divinely intoxicating, inf infinite divine bliss. 
How do you bring them closer? That's God. Your twin flame is one part of God's love for you. Purifying consciousness brings one closer to the divine source. All spiritual masters are intoxicated by God, as Rumi wrote about being drunk on the wine of God. It's a natural evolution of spiritual practice. That's who you're moving towards. That's who's in front of you. Feeling divine bliss is okay. It's not a low thing. It's of God. You can't control God. You're being shown this reality that you're moving towards. Bathing in divine bliss. It's okay to acknowledge and accept it. The bliss arises from peace. Pursue God's drunkenness. A master is meant to be drunk in the bliss of God. Your twin flame is a representation of that bliss, but you're keeping them at bay. Your twin flame is not the source of your bliss. God's drunkenness does not numb the senses, but elevates them. Build the foundation with peace, and from that attain union with bliss. How much more man or woman do you need to be before you can be with your twin flame? That's handled. Maybe you think you can't have it? But by all means, grab the booze. Your twin flame isn't the booze, though. God is the booze. God is the intoxication. Be willing to follow your bliss and allow it in your life. But don't lose your peace along the way. It's a valuable foundation. Don't trade it in. Keep the peace. Ign explore what's beyond it. It's not excitement. You step into the arms of your ultimate lover. What if you allow that to happen? Do you go back to peace or expand into joy? Bliss arises from that peace in all of your life. Open up your inner reality to something new, a really compelling vision, the grain to strive for, the mountain at the end of the long road. Be adjusted to this place and be comfortable with the next step and starting to take steps in that direction. You need the vision or you get lost. It's a massive undertaking. The vision can evolve, but its essence remains the same. It's very important to have the larger vision and focus on what's in front of you. And the next step can continue to unfold. Be comfortable with that little thing in front of you and that divine bliss. Focus on the next step. You can go gently without losing yourself. It's okay if you're not quite ready. It's a process. Until everything's fully revealed, sit with it and love it to find a peaceful resolution. Only move with love and peace. With your twin flame, yes, they will trigger your deepest upsets, as you will in them. Ground deeper into compassion. Your twin flame is your healing tool for ascension. That's their primary purpose, to walk home with you to God, the end result. So whatever they're doing, they're mirroring. And even if it looks like you're doing different things or they're over there, mirroring you is walking with you. Whether they're talking or not talking to you, they're mirroring something for you to heal and not point the finger. We get there by experiencing the uncomfortable feelings for the purpose of purification of consciousness. Be mature enough to want to experience this even if it is uncomfortable. The purification is the eternal investment. That's why you can go as fast as you want. Feeling is so important. The divine is orchestrating everything in your life. Learn this lesson or you won't get any closer to your twin flame. It's not about them. Master this peace. The critical thing to master harmonious union and everyone who's got into harmonious union has said this same thing. They're your mirror. The thing they're doing, you must heal it within, not talk it out. They're your teacher. If you're being a tr grumpy twat, they'll mirror a grumpy twat to you. Feel comfortable with the gift that God has given you. Heal that trauma. Loving me to love myself there. Loving you to love yourself there. That's the core mechanic. Or else get a soulmate and get stuff from each other. Do a deal. But that's not your ultimate lover. It's a material kind of love versus this eternal ultimate love. You are the highest creation of the Most High. The purpose of your ultimate lover is to become Christ-like. You become a divine master if you follow this path. This is a new creation for the next level of existence. Set your sights higher for what harmonious union is. Go there. The price for God. Pray, 
pay that price to be with God, you you want the most high and you'll do what it takes to get there. You'll get clearer layer by layer. You're being shaped and purified. Be an active participant and don't get dragged. Respect to you as you learn to dive in hard. If you communicate to the universe that you're a boss, be prepared. The universe hits hard. If you communicate that you're hard, the universe will be hard. Yeah, the, but the harder you get hit, the stronger you get, the fastest. It's not, as Rocky Balboa so rightly said, it's not about how hard you can get hit, but how much you... It's not about how hard you can hit, but how hard you can get hit that makes you powerful. Yeah, my Kung Fu teacher is always telling us that sometimes you have to take a punch and you, and you, still, win, and you still win. No, but honour yourself. Learn who you are by presenting yourself to the universe. If you pre present yourself as a badass, the universe will pummel you. The universe will take you at face value. Just be true to yourself and it becomes a dance or you get pummeled. You don't need to push too hard. Your project's in order, but you're up-leveling. Slowly approaching the next level. Don't lose your balance by overworking or you'll get hit too hard. You want to show the universe what you're made of and then you get smacked. You're learning who you are. Relax. Putting yourself in these intense situations and then having massive work to do is guilty. It is not required. You don't need to overtrain. You're guilty of that as well. All that matters is feeling good. If you don't want to feel good, this place will amplify what you want. So you don't want to be scared. Follow the good feeling. And the truth feels good. Clarity will feel good inside. It feels better to be who you are inside. And if you don't want to explore it, you don't have to. Don't be afraid of changing. Love that part of yourself that still wants to be understood. Don't push yourself away. Your emotions and feelings are leading you somewhere. Go there. Let go of the parts of your not self that you hold on to. Let go of control. Offer what's attractive. Improve the momentum. Because like that improves the momentum of you, a child, a child of the divine, walking home to the divine. This is powerful territory. A miracle is being worked. Hurrah! Splendid. And on that note... I think I'm going to have to go and grab some lunch. God, is that the time already? Oh, I was enjoying that. Well, I really hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.